It is Sunday, December 9th of 2018, and I am on my way home for this episode of Guy's Daily Drive. So mysterious. everyone to Guy's Daily Drive. Uh, Let's see, where am I? I am on Interstate 70 on my way to Frederick, Maryland, where I will jump on I-270 toward Washington, D.C. and all parts to get me home. So the last time I did one of these, I was on my way to Ohio to attend the Audio Technica warehouse sale that was held on Friday and Saturday. And it was it was interesting. Um, it was not what I expected. And there were certainly a lot more people than uh, I thought were going to attend. So let me tell you what happened. Uh, I didn't have any problems getting to uh, my friend Dave and his wife Joyce's house in Ohio, where I stayed for the whole time that I was there. And uh, the the next morning I get up and I needed to leave by 8 o'clock. Stowe isn't that far away, but this was still on a Friday, so... I was hoping to avoid any traffic, and of course, pretty much the whole afternoon after I got to Dave's house, it was snowing, so, you know, I had to make sure that the the car was going to be cleared of snow and that everything was going to be okay, and it was. I get up to where the Audio Technical Warehouse is. And I could see the line of people that were waiting to go inside at 9. And there were a lot more people there than I thought. So it was like, okay. So I found a place to park the car. Great place to park the car, as a matter of fact. And got out and started walking toward the, uh, the side of the building where I thought the end of the line was. That was not the end of the line. It went all the way down the rest of that side of the building and when I got to that corner it went about another halfway down that side of the building by this gazebo so I was in line behind I don't know easily a couple of hundred people certainly many 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 more people than I thought was was going to be there so I wait in line and it's getting cold and I don't know why I didn't take a whole lot in the way of cold weather clothes I didn't take uh, I took two sweaters I didn't take any gloves Uh, I took a couple of sweatshirts with hoodies you know nothing all of the stuff that I should have had with me based on my experiences in the wintertime in Ohio before, and I didn't have any of that stuff. So, I, I, I wait my turn, and eventually, probably a half hour later, because they can only let in so many people at a time, I got inside. And then again, I was, I was blown away all over again by just the sheer amount of stuff that Audio Technica had there. And there was a couple of different levels of stuff. There was brand new stuff that they were selling at probably anywhere from like a 10 to 30 to 40% discount, which is, you know, amazing right there in, in and of itself. Then they had 
kind of like a scratch and dent section. I guess it was stuff that had been opened or, or what have you. And that stuff was like way marked down. I got a, it's an AT2050 condenser microphone that typically sells for over $200. I got that for about 80 bucks. They had Bluetooth speakers, these like round Bluetooth speakers that originally were supposed to go with uh, these turntables that they were selling, but I don't know what happened, but they were selling the, uh, uh, the speakers separately for like 25 bucks. So I got, I got a bunch of those. I gave one to my friend Dave and his wife Joyce. Uh, the, I bought two others that I'm going to give to the kids at Christmas time. And I also got them some uh, earbuds, including uh, Liza. I got her, her some earbuds too, Peter's girlfriend. And then I also got, and I didn't even really need it, but it was... It was a really good deal, and I wanted to see how the microphone sounded. It's kind of Audio Technica's equivalent to the Shure SM58, and I can't think of what the model number is off the top of my head. Uh, but it, it's it's a really really nice looking microphone. Um, I will try these out uh, once I get home. Probably not tonight, but you know eventually. Uh, what else? Uh, I didn't get any headphones because honestly I didn't really need them. I have some uh, Audio Technica 40 series. It's like ATHM something dash 40, which are nice, nice monitor headphones. And they had those same ones for about half of. of what I paid for the ones that I that I had originally, but I still didn't get them because I've already got a backup pair of headphones. So it was like, you know, how many sets of monitor headphones do I need? Certainly not that many. I've got my main pair and I've got a backup pair, and that should be good enough. I was tempted to, but I didn't get um, a turntable. Peter is going to uh, be getting one from Liza's mom, and uh, Guy has access to the same one that, that Tracy and I have been using for for quite some time, and he doesn't really use it. So, I you know I just couldn't see the sense of getting uh, another turntable, even though that was a very nice turntable, but as per usual. I spent more than I probably should have, but um, probably about half of what I would have spent otherwise. And it was fun just to walk around the aisles and look at the stuff that was for sale. Go, oh, I didn't know they made that. I didn't know they made that. You know, put it on a wish list for maybe some other time. Or if I go next year, and that's, you know, that's not guaranteed, uh, maybe maybe I'll, I'll get some of those things that uh, I kind of put on my wish list. You know, things and things, yeah, I, I admit it, like turntables and things like that. So, <laughs> with the event out of the way, uh, Joyce and David and I, we went out and ran some errands and uh, just had a pretty, a pretty good time on the rest of that Friday. Saturday, some more errands because I was invited to a Christmas party that evening of some friends of theirs. They knew they knew of me and had met me one time before. So, and because I was there, they were they were gracious enough to invite me to the party. And the party was so much fun. This guy had like a full karaoke setup downstairs. And when when Dave first told me that, I was like, oh, karaoke, really? really, you know, who wants to do that? Well, as it turns out, I did. (laughs) I had a wonderful time, uh, sang a lot of songs. Some of the songs that uh, people thought I would sing, I was like, I'm not singing that. Like, 
they had the the who lets who let the dog out you know I mean just some kind of silly songs that I was like I'm not gonna sing that stuff so got up this morning and here I am eventually on my drive home but it was it was a great weekend I had a wonderful time and uh Even though it was all kind of thrown together at last minute, I couldn't have asked for uh, better timing over everything that, that I was there to do. Um, going to the Christmas party was just great. Spending all the time with Davy Joyce. The only bummer part is the drive. The drive always sucks because it's like six to seven hours with bathroom breaks and things like that. And uh, I guess I'm about an hour and a half away from home, but I'm going to have to stop and get some gas relatively soon. Do one more pee break before I do the final push. So that will about do it. Thank you all for watching and or listening thank you so very, very much. If you would like to help contribute to the crazy stuff that makes up not just Guy's Daily Drive, but uh, the Mac to the Future live cast that I do on Wednesday nights with Warren Sklar and David Ginsburg, uh, that's over there on the, uh, the Facebooks. That would be wonderful. And you can do that by subscribing to my Patreon page. You can find me under Guy Searle. You can also subscribe to me via uh, coffee.com, ko-fi.com. Uh, Mac Parrot, same thing. I would greatly appreciate that as well. And you don't have to, like I keep saying, you know, none of this is mandatory. I have a, I have a really, really good time doing this, and I'm going to continue to do it, whether you know, anyone contributes or not. And uh, that's going to about do it. So, again, thanks for watching and or listening. And I will see you next time on Guy's Daily Drive. In a quarter mile, merge onto I-70 East. Yeah. In a quarter mile, merge onto I-70 East. Sure. <laughs>